Hello, good morning. It's uh, Deal Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for trading session Tuesday, the 13th of February 2018. Okay, let's uh, run through the uh, market commentary here, folks. Trade signals, signals, and market updates from leading providers. Be sure to visit the app, download the app on Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, in terms of Asian markets, first and foremost, you have the Asian markets certainly uh, recovering now. The Shanghai higher, 4%, Hang Seng higher. The Nikkei certainly is still obviously uh, weaker on the back of that USD JPY trade. Yen certainly appreciating there. In terms of US markets yesterday, it was certainly a stellar performance. NASDAQ higher, 1.5%, S&P higher, Dow higher. So all the three indices certainly up very impressively, and therefore you're expecting European equities to move higher as well and certainly start to uh, certainly show some, uh, obviously, strength. In terms of the fundamentals this morning, in terms of the economic calendar, nothing major. You had new loans and money supply data out of China, which was okay. Uh, in terms of well, the new flow, nothing really of any major importance. Uh, again, retail price index from the UK, inflation numbers certainly coming in on slightly on the weaker side, certainly not as high as everybody expected, and therefore one would uh, presume that uh, that certainly, uh, uh, certainly tapers or certainly uh, neutralizes any hawkish rhetoric coming out Mr. Carney and his uh, compatriots there. Uh, again, and that certainly helps the FTSE 100 to that, from that perspective. Uh, OPEC news in terms of oil price was certainly bullish as well. OPEC certainly uh, indicating a bullish scenario and therefore looking to move higher in terms of oil prices. Okay, so let's look at the technical picture there now, given the fact that Asian markets certainly higher. Uh, let's see exactly where European markets are headed. Let's start off with the German DAX. German DAX still obviously um, still consolidating really at the lows. It certainly seems like Miss uh, Merkel's potential uh, uh, agreement there uh, certainly isn't boarding well for the uh, German DAX for logic, certainly given the fact that she'd lost a lot of her potential uh, clout. Okay, in terms of the 60 minute chart, you, we are now looking for a higher low given the fact that the NASDAQ SP certainly pushed higher and the, the German DAX generally tends to follow the NASDAQ and therefore it needs to play catch up from what I can see here. 10 minute chart, again, you are looking at for potential support in this zone double bottom. 12,220, looking to potentially thrust higher to 12,370, or possibly even higher. Now, Mr. Trump did unveil his potential uh, uh, infrastructure plan yesterday, so again, any talk of that certainly is bullish for equities, so that's something that you certainly need to take into account as well. Okay, moving on to the French CAC now. French CAC, again, bouncing off that pivot low there, uh, again, looking to potentially push higher, looking at a 60-minute chart here, again, looking for a higher low. Same concept here with the German uh, DAX, again, looking for a potential higher low. Given the fact that the euro has fallen back down to that 1.23 level, given the fact that it was all, uh, such lofty heights, uh, uh, now the uh, the potential, uh, obviously, infrastructure plan certainly is, is positive for equities, and therefore one would expect a potential move higher here as well. Okie dokie. Uh, again, the uh, French CAC, as you can see here, potential to the bottom intraday. Uh, this is a key support level that we're going to be watching for now. Okay, once that cracks, if that does crack, then we are looking to gap fill at 5080 and potential triple bottom at 5060. But certainly not expecting that scenario given the fact that Asian markets certainly higher overnight. Copper prices are very strong this morning as well, so again, that bodes well. Copper breaking out higher there, so again, certainly a bullish factor. FTSE 100 putting a bullish engulfing candle yesterday, so that's a good sign. Looking for continuation of the short squeeze higher, so again, that certainly is a bullish perspective. 60 minute chart, all we're doing literally is consolidating here from my perspective, and then we are looking to thrust higher to 7300. So, watch out for 7300 or FTSE 100 very shortly. That's my interpretation, and that's my expectation as well. Ten minute chart again is oscillating, building a potential base here to look potentially thrust higher. The first thrust of resistance will be at 7240, and then you're looking at a resistance here at 7260. And then eventually 7310. So certainly an impressive move expected on the FTSE 100. Okay, last but not least is the Euro stocks. A little known Euro stocks again. Daily chart holding gap fill. Okay, we didn't actually put a bullish engulfing candle yesterday, so that certainly is a point to certainly take note of. Again, looking for a bull flag scenario, looking to break higher. Do you have the on fill gap below at 3326? Bear that in mind. Then obviously double bottom here at 3306. So again, looking for a bullish move up to gap fill above, which is at 3.454. So, and then you've got gap fill above at 3.480 as well. And then gap fill above at 3.520. So multiple gaps will be filled on the upside. 
Okay, so I think that's a good summation really of the European indices. Certainly my bias is bullish at this perspective and looking for higher prices. Please be sure to visit CFDs.com, take advantage of the bonus and be sure to visit TradeSignal and download the latest app. Goodbye now.